Okay, Mike Tess, uh, if you can hear my voice, please type okay in the chat room. Thank you. I repeat, if you can hear my voice clearly, uh, can you just type okay in the chat room? Okay, before we begin, a quick, uh, a quick reminder to everyone. Uh, peringatan ringkas saja kepada semua pelajar. Uh, when it comes to discussion, I'm going to allow each one of you to unmute yourself. Saya akan bukakan option, uh, unmute yourself. Eh. Saya akan uh, bagi peluang pelajar kalau dalam ruang discussion, uh, saya akan benarkan pelajar untuk mute ataupun unmute diri mereka sendiri. Uh, but please do not misuse the option. Tolong jangan salah guna option tersebut because when everyone is actually uh, turning on their microphones at the same time, things will be a bit inconvenient. Keadaan akan jadi agak kurang selesa dan kurang menyenangkan because there will be too much noise. Akan ada terlalu banyak mudi. Okay? Alright, so kalau saya panggil nama anda dan anda perlu menjawab, sila unmute yourself. Eh. Saya akan uh, benarkan option tersebut digunakan. I will enable the option unmute yourself. But please do not misuse the option. Thank you. Alright, so we will begin shortly around 8.15. Uh, while waiting for the rest to be online, I wish everyone are ready with their worksheet and of course their stationery. Thank you. Chairman, let's finish. Itu suara tak dengar kat sini. Itu sebelum suara kat sini. Tak nampak. Cuma tak boleh. Okay, Assalamualaikum and a very good day to everyone. Welcome to our lesson number four, uh, online class, okay, with Cikgu Hazwan. Okay, and tonight's focus will be on comprehension section B. Focus pada malam ini adalah pada bahagian B, kertas 013, pemahaman. Eh. We are going to put our mind away a bit from writing. Kita akan uh, rehatkan minda kita daripada membuat penulisan untuk minggu ini. 
So kita harap minggu depan kita akan kembali lebih segar dan lebih aktif untuk membuat soalan-soalan yang lebih mencabar pada kertas penulisan section C and of course section B. But for tonight, we'll be discussing and we'll be focusing on comprehension section B. Okay, section B, pemahaman. Kertas pemahaman. Eh. Pemahaman in English, by the way, it is comprehension. Alright, so if you look at your chat room, kalau anda lihat di ruangan chat, okay, I have mentioned the tentative for tonight's class. Saya dah masukkan tentative untuk kelas pada malam ini. So from 8.15 to 8.45, I'll be sharing with you Uh, I'll be sharing the tips and techniques for section B comprehension. Saya akan buat perkongsian sedikit uh, teknik dan juga tips-tips yang penting untuk kertas pemahaman penulisan uh, pemahaman uh, section B, question 21 to question 25. And then from 8.45 to 9.45, we'll be having guided discussion where we are going to complete the worksheet given kita akan melengkapkan lembaran kerja yang telah diberikan kepada anda semua secara guided. Guided means berpandukan uh, bimbingan guru. Alright, and then from 8.45, uh, sorry, from 9.45 uh, to 10 o'clock, uh, we'll be having a short discussion on quantifiers grammar. I notice some students still confused when it comes to the concept of quantifiers. And then from 10 to 10.15, I'll be Uh, allowing you to do the quizzes based on the topic quantifiers. Saya akan benarkan anda membuat latihan quizzes, di quizzes ya. Yeah? Alright, uh, based on the topic quantifiers berdasarkan topic quantifiers. Alright, so if you don't mind, I would like to begin now. Saya akan memulakan kelas sekarang. So I hope everyone is ready and I hope everyone can hear my voice clearly. And then please make sure you have the worksheets. Uh, you have the worksheet, you have the stationery, and you have the notebook. All right. And please keep yourself focused. Uh, please keep yourself, uh, what you call it, active and uh, be responsive all the time. All right. Along the way, I'll be asking you questions. Sepanjang perjalanan kelas ini, saya akan minta anda memberi jawapan. Uh, for some reason, some students, they are not able to use the microphone. So if you are unable to use the microphone, please respond in the chat room. Silalah respon dalam chat, room dan sebagainya. Don't, uh, sorry, don't, uh, what you call it? <laughs> just just be responsive, okay? Don't keep us waiting. Jangan biarkan kami tertanya-tanya dan tertunggu-tunggu. Alright, so let's begin. Mari kita mulakan. Okay, so for comprehension section B, this will be the content mapping. Alright, so for section B, you have to remember For 013 paper, untuk kertas 013, you have two sections. The first section is section A, question 1 to question 20 in the form of multiple choice question. Dalam bentuk pilihan, jawapan beraneka pilihan. So, those are totally grammar-based questions. But sometimes, uh, students, they have this complaint that they are unable to get A because they did not do well for section B. Yes, I have to admit, when it comes to 013 paper, section B can be a bit tricky. So what is section B, by the way? Section B consists of two sections, okay? The first one is question 21, and then question 22 to 25. Bagian B ada dua subsections, eh? For section B, we have two subsections, question 21 and question 22 to 25. So for the first question 21, it's actually social expressions unit. Ianya adalah unit social expressions. What does it mean by social expressions? Dalam direct translationnya, kalau kita tukarkan kepada bahasa Melayu, maksudnya ekspresi sosial. Uh, it's like completing a conversation, something like that. Di mana anda dikendaki untuk melengkapkan uh, perbualan. So technically speaking, for this particular section, subsections, question 21, it's a bit uh, difficult because it's totally application based and purely hot. Ianya susah nak score. Kadang-kadang budak hilang markah tak dapat 6 per 6 because it's totally application. Meaning that your ability to use, your ability to understand the English language in the social context. Uh, kemahiran awak menggunakan bahasa Inggeris dalam situasi sebenar. So as you all know, there are three sections. Ada 6 soalan and total marks offered for this section would be 6. Markah penuh yang ditawarkan untuk bahagian ini 6. And then you have question 22 to 25, okay? Question 22, 25, where they will give you three comprehension texts. Mereka akan bagi awak tiga petikan, uh, three passages. And those passages can come in the form of linear or non-linear. Dan petikan tersebut boleh datang dalam bentuk linear 
petikan biasa yang kita selalu nampak dengan perkataan words and then the non linear comprehension text it could be charts advertisement or poster non linear bermaksud uh, petikan dalam bentuk carta iklan poster dan sebagainya alright so those basically the layout of section B ini adalah sikit sebanyak uh, susunan untuk kertas 013 section B Alright, so let's begin with question 21. Saya mulakan dulu dengan question 21. Okay, as I mentioned just now, question 21, section B is technically about social expressions. And I would like to remember this acronym. Saya nak anda semua ingat acronym ini. Ini adalah tips saya yang pertama. This will be my first tips and techniques to answer the question for section B, question 21. R-I-S-K. Okay, let me begin with R. Okay, R means read the dialogue. Bila dapat je kertas soalan, kena baca dialog yang diberikan terlebih dahulu. That will be your first main step, langkah yang pertama. And then you have to do the I. I means identify the order of the conversation. What does it mean by the order of the conversation? Meaning that you have to identify who is the first speaker and who is the second speaker. Anda kena kenal pasti siapa yang bercakap dahulu dan siapa yang membalas. Most of the time, saya ulang eh, most of the times, not all the time. Fahamkan beza tersebut. Most of the times, if the conversation or speech bubble is positioned in the way of left and right. Kalau speech bubble-nya disusun dalam kedudukan left and right, kiri dan kanan, most of the times, the one on the left will be the first speaker. The one on the right will be the second speaker. But if they uh, organize the layout in the way one is at the top, another one is at the bottom. So normally the first one will be the one at the top and the bottom will be the second speaker. Like I said, most of the times, bukan sepanjang masa, tapi kebanyakannya, setiap kali 90% itulah kedudukannya. That's why I always remind my students Whatever you do, read the given dialogue to just confirm the order of the conversation. You kena baca dulu dialog yang diberikan untuk uh, membuat kepastian siapa yang bercakap dahulu. Okay, moving on. Langkah yang ketiga S, the third step will be S, study the picture, look for other details. Kadang-kadang budak selalu complain. Sometimes students, they complain, I don't understand the dialogue. Saya tak faham statementnya diberikan. But do not fret, do not worry, study the picture and you will get some sort of clues. Kamu akan dapat sedikit pembayanglah what is the situation is all about. Situasi tersebut mengenai apa. Alright, so don't forget to study the picture, look for other details as well. And when you write your answer, follow the rule of case. Langkah yang terakhir, bila tulis jawapan, ikutlah undang-undang ataupun kaedah case. Case tu maksudnya keep it short and simple. Remember, for section B, social expression is not writing, it's not essay write up. Dia bukanlah pembinaan karangan. So you are not supposed to write lengthy answers in order to impress the examiner. You tak payah nak tulis jawapan yang melirik panjang. Semata-mata you beranggapan nak tarik perhatian pemenanda kertas. No. You have to understand your job for this section is to complete the conversation. So your answer has to be short and simple. Jawapan adalah pendek, ringkas, tepat and written in complete sentence. Ditulis dalam ayat penuh. Uh, since 2017, sejak tahun 2017, they do not accept one word answer anymore. Mereka tak terima soalan dan jawapan satu patah perkataan. Something like this. Yes, they will give you zero. So your answer has to be in complete sentence. So no more, uh, if the question asks you, how are you? All right. So no more like that. So no more one word answer. Tiada lagi jawapan satu patah perkataan. Okay. So please remember the acronym RISK. Okay. So this is the technique that you have to understand. Ini adalah teknik yang korang kena faham. So let's apply the technique in the real question. Inilah soalan question 21. For those who are not sure, what is question 21 yet? So question 21, as you can see, they are going to give you three sets of conversations or dialogues where you have to complete each one of them. Okay, so there will be two speech bubbles for each sub questions and then one will be in the form of blanks. So you have to complete them. 
So akan ada tiga soalan dialog dan you kena lengkapkan perbualan mereka lah. Like I said just now, langkah pertama, whatever you do is to read the given dialog. So let's try question 21A. So this one let me guide you. I'll be glad to. So langkah pertama, what I need to do is to read the dialog. And then my step number two is to identify who is the first and the second speaker. Langkah yang kedua, cikgu kena kenal pasti siapa yang cakap dulu. Like I said just now, if the position of the dialogue bubble or speech bubble, one at the top, one at the bottom, normally the one at the top will be the first speaker and the second one will be the one at the bottom. Left and right, left first, the right will be saying it later. So in this case, I confirm 100% sure that this one will be the first speaker and this guy is actually the second speaker. Okay, so then step number three is to study the other details. Tengok gambar, uh, cari maklumat, maklumat, maklumat lain. So I can see this man is struggling to carry the boxes. Boxes, because I can see other boxes on the floor. Dia nak, dia mamat tu macam mengalami kesukaran untuk mengangkat kotak-kotak. Bukan sekadar kotak, tapi kotak-kotak. Because I can see the other kotak-kotak, kotak-kotak lain berada di atas lantai. And I notice the man use wood, okay, for example. And then my sample answer will be something like this. Would you help me to carry these boxes? There you go. The answer, short, simple, but incomplete sentence. Jawapan dia pendek, tepat, dalam ayat penuh. Tak payah melirik-lirik seperti, would you help me to carry these boxes to the office because I need them to be, uh, what you call it, delivered to the headmaster tak payah. Bila you tulis melirik-lirik, chances for you to make grammatical errors, something like spelling or punctuation would be very high as well. So you are going to lose marks. Okay? So kalau jawapan betul, grammar betul, obviously you'll be given two marks. Jawapan betul, grammar betul, dua markah. Tapi, however, if your answer is okay but with Grammatical error or spelling error, automatically one mark will be deducted. Kalau jawapan anda salah dari segi grammar, satu markah akan ditolak. I'll give you one example. Contoh, kalau calon tu tulis, uh, would you help me to carry the box? Okay, calon ini membuat tiga kesilapan. Yang pertama, help. Yang kedua, boxes. Okay? Sorry, two mistakes. Okay? So, ada dua kesilapan dalam jawapan dia. So, the answer is still fine. Jawapan dia okay. Kena je dengan situasi. So, however, the grammar are a bit off. So, technically, this candidate will only be given one mark. Okay? Jawapannya hanyalah satu markah. Alright? Uh, but if your answer is totally irrelevant to the conversation, kalau kamu punya soalan tiada kena mengena, kamu punya jawapan tiada kena mengena langsung dengan uh, orang kata apa situasi, zero box automatic. Contohlah tiba-tiba ada calon tulis jawapan, how are you? Okay, contoh, contoh saja. Sebab ada pelajar yang lemah, dia tak tahu nak tulis apa, dia main belasah saja. So how are you? Okay, although the grammar is fine, the spelling is fine, but the answer does not fit the situation, obviously kosong. Terus kosong. Alright, so you have to understand that. Like I said, this one is totally kebat and you have to be very, very careful when it comes to understanding the situation or the picture. Okay? Alright. Now, B. Alright. B. Sure, I can send you that. Saya boleh hantar anda ke sana. Okay, now using the chat room, Please make sure, okay, please try this question now. Use the chat room. Uh, anyone, everyone, please type out your answer. Cuba. Okay, I have identified the first and the second speaker for all, for everyone. So please.
ओके थैंक यू राइट होल्ड ऑन है लेट मी रेस्पॉन्ड वन बाय वन प्लीज टेक नोट है तुलना अभी प्रार्थियन रायन मुक्रिस कैन यू टेक मी टू कीप मॉक देवर बी टू मार्क्स बतोल पुत्री अलीशा कैन यू सेंड मी टू द हॉस्पिटल टू मार्क्स नाजरीन कैन यू सेंड मी टू द केएलसीसी नाजरीन बुआंग केएलसीसी बुआंग द कैन यू सेंड मी टू केएलसीसी देवर बी फाइन आदम कैन यू सेंड मी एट द मॉल तब बोले At the mall maksudnya di di dalam shopping mall. Boleh tak awak hantar saya di dalam shopping mall? Di mall. Boleh tak awak hantar saya di mall? Tak boleh. So tak tepat. Uh, okay. Tukarkan at tu kepada tu. Arif Daniel hantar. Can you send me to Sunway Pyramid? Uh, Sunway Pyramid. That is two marks. Can you send me to Kuala Lumpur? Ilmi Zakwan. The word send should be in present tense. D. Can you send me? Uh, Rosia Muhammad, can you take me there? Okay, can you take me there? There where? Okay, there di mana? There tu kata ganti nama tempat. Jadi you kena bagi tahu tempat tu di mana dulu. Uh, bayangkan you naik teksi, tiba-tiba ada orang datang. Contohlah, eh, you bawa teksi, tiba-tiba ada orang cakap bawa saya ke sana. Ke sana mana? Uh, jadi soalan dia begitulah. Alright, Fiyal Batrisha, can you send me to the shopping mall? That is two marks. Can you send me to Puchong? Two marks. Uh, Sofia and Shafika, can you send me to KLCC? Tambah question mark, saya bagi dua markah. Uh, can you send me to restaurant? Restaurant salah aja, R-E-S-T-A-U-R-A-N-T. Okay, check balik ejaan. Aisyah, can you send me to the airport? Please, betul. Can you take me to Prajaya? Betul. Wan Muhammad Ryan, can you send me to the mall? Betul. If you have the punctuation and the question mark. Ilmi Zakwan, can you send me to Kuala Lumpur? Betul. Adam, can you send me to IUI Mall? Betul. Ah, uh, Sunway Velocity tu betul. Ah, uh, Shakil tu betul. Supermarket Depuls. Can you send me to the supermarket Depuls? First, you have to understand, Depuls is not a supermarket. Depuls is a mall. And in Depuls, dekat dalam Depuls tu, if I not mistaken, you have Village Grocer or Jaya Grocer, if I not mistaken, and there will be supermarket. Ah, uh, Bukit Pucong boleh diterima. Amira Kistina, uh, Capital C question mark. Can you send me to KLA? Capital C question mark. Can you send me to airport? Can you send me home? Okay, Danish, hati-hati. Bila you masuk dalam taxi, tiba-tiba you cakap dengan orang taxi tu, boleh tak hantar saya balik ke rumah? Orang tu akan tanya, rumah awak kat mana? Saya tak tahu. So, kena bagi location. Can you send me to Taman Putra Perdana ke? Ha, contoh. Alright. Imran, the word send should be in D. Okay, thank you for those who answered my question. And thank you for those who have tried. Terima kasih kepada pelajar yang dah uh, mencuba. Uh, cuma next time, just a gentle reminder to everyone. Although when you are typing, walaupun anda menulis, okay, in during our discussion, I prefer if your uh, what you call it when you type, you type with punctuation and of course with good spelling as well. Bila you menaip dalam perbincangan, jawapan uh, type dalam uh, kata apa? menggunakan tanda baca dan juga ejaan yang betul. Alright. Unless we are discussing of something informal. Kalau kita bincang benda yang bukan mengenai pelajaran, it's fine. Okay. So, my sample of answer, jawapan saya begini. Could you take me to the airport? Selesai. Alright. So, two marks will be given there. Okay. Soalan C. Question C. Okay, mom, don't worry. Okay. The boy is boarding a bus. Budak ni naik bus. So, this one, this lady is his mother. So definitely the lady will be speaking first. The boy is replying. Okay, try question 21C. I'll be waiting for your chat. Thank you. You may try now. First, okay Arik betul, take care Ali, wrong typing, betulkan punctuation je. Stay safe son, two marks, take care, two marks, if I two marks. Alia Idina, careful, one L, be careful, comma, okay, full stop. Bye Adam, take care, full stop. Priria, dua markah. 
Uh, be careful. Careful is one mark. Eh? Aznam, Ahmad, careful, Ali. Please be careful. Ali, okay. Two marks. Stay safe. Eric, two marks. Tak ada masalah. Take care of yourself. Two marks. Hari Ami. Take care, Ali. Two marks. Be safe, Ali. Full stop. Be careful, Amar. Dua markah. Good. Lagi. Hmm. Goodbye and stay safe, Aisyah. Two marks. Tak ada masalah. No problem. Take care Ali, uh, Imran, take care Abu, T huruf besar, comma A, okay, the rest are fine. Uh, Adam H, Ali, capital letter, careful, 1L. Saya ulang, careful, 1L. Okay, take care Adam, love you. Okay, Arif Daniel, very creative, two marks. Uh, bye and take care. Macam marah je mak dia, bye and take care. Jangan tak nak, okay, mom, no worry. Okay lah, still two marks. Bye Ali, take care Ali, bye and take care Ali. Arif Wakiuddin, uh, check jawapan Adam. Uh, you can copy Adam's example. That is one of the way to say it because yours is a bit redundant. Bye Ali, take care Ali. Macam panjang sangat. Bye and take care Ali. It should be take care Ali, bye. That would be much better. Ami, please take care of yourself. Aisha Batrisha, yourself. Y-O-U-R-S-E-L-F. Okay. Uh, take care of yourself Nabil. Aisha, ba Aisha Bashira, please check uh, the answer from Muhammad Danish, that is fine. Take care of yourself, Nabil. But Danish, you have to add a comma before Nabil. Kena tambah comma sebelum Nabil. Aina Shafika said, take care, Ali, bye. Okay, good. Take care, son. Take care, comma, son, full stop. Okay, all right, nice chat. Thank you so much, everyone. Terima kasih semua. So, I will reveal my answer. Saya akan tunjukkan jawapan saya. Take care of yourself, son. There you go. So, macam saya kata tadi, please remember my... Uh, so, I would like to conclude this uh, this section now. Saya nak tutup bahagian ni because I would like to proceed to comprehension after this. Uh, remember the steps. Saya ingatkan balik langkah-langkah dia. Of course, the first one is to read the given dialogue. Baca dialogue yang diberikan. Identify the first and the second speaker. Kena pasti siapa yang cakap dulu. And then... Uh, study the details of the picture, tengok detail gambar tersebut, dapatkan maklumat-maklumat yang penting and then when you answer the question, please make sure, uh, sorry about this, okay, please make sure you answer using the idea of kiss. Your answer has to be short and simple but in complete sentence, okay? Alright, so thank you everyone. So let's proceed to the next part of our conversation and discussion. Okay, kita sambung discussion kita. Next is question 21. Uh, sorry, question 21 done. Now we are moving to question 22 and 25. Question 22 and 25, they will be testing your skills to read and then at the same time to understand. Some people, they can read well, but they do not understand what they have read. Some people, they have trouble to read fast, maybe because of their pronunciation and things like that, but they do understand whatever they have read. Mereka faham apa yang mereka baca. Uh, what is KISS? Keep it short and simple, um, but in complete sentence. Alright, nanti saya buat rumusan balik. Don't worry, Aisyah. Alright. Okay, sambung ya. Next, langkah pertama. Jawab soalan. Apa nak buat? First, read the questions to get some basic ideas. Kalau saya punya style nak buat soalan comprehension ni, I don't read the passage first. I read the questions. I go through the questions. Why? When you read with purpose, your reading will become more meaningful. Kalau anda faham kenapa anda kena baca sesuatu benda, uh, you akan lebih seronok dan pembacaan tu akan jadi lebih bermakna. So, I will advise my student that please read the questions to get some basic ideas dulu. Jadi setidak-tidaknya bila kita baca petikan tu nanti, we get the key points that we are looking for. Langkah yang kedua, read the whole passage. Okay, so, kalau saya punya style, like I said, I start with the question and then read the whole passage. Baru saya baca petikan dia. Percayalah, the moment you read the question first, okay, if you have, if you read the, if you read the question first, when you read the passage, automatically your brain will start identifying the points tau. Dia otak tu automatically dia akan mula cari isi-isi penting. Because you know what you are supposed to look for. You dah tahu apa yang you kena cari. Sebab tu kena mula dengan soalan dahulu. 
Langkah yang kedua, identify the keywords of the question. Kena pasti kata kunci soalan. Please lah korang. I'm begging you, sometimes students, they make careless mistake, you know. Uh, they want one evidence, students give two evidence. They want one word, students give two words. They want a sentence, students give two sentences. So please identify the question, the, the keyword. Uh, question wants who, you jawab what. Question want what, you jawab how. Alright? And then after that, before you submit, choose and write your answers. Check your spelling and punctuation. Marks will be deducted even though your answers are fine. It means in bahasa, walaupun jawapan kurang betul, tapi kalau ada kesilapan spelling, satu pun, no way, you will get one mark deducted. Kamu akan dapat satu markah dipotong. So, back to the question words, you have to understand. These are the basic question words that you have to understand. Eh? What, who, where and when. Siapa, apa, mana, bila. Alright, these are all lost questions. Ini soalan aras rendah. Tak payah fikir banyak pun tahu. Cuma soalan-soalan yang seperti why, which one, bag, uh, hand out. And the other one how. Sorry about this one, typo. My mistake, it should be why, kenapa. Okay, I will make the correction later when I give you guys the notes. So, please remember, there are two kinds of questions level. Okay, the first one is lots and the second one is hots. Budak selalu takut sangat dengan soalan hots ni. But don't worry, when it comes to comprehension, UPSR. Alright, if you can answer these questions, the lots questions successfully, you will still be able to score A. Kalau korang boleh jawab soalan-soalan yang tak hot ni dengan betul, Korang boleh dapat A. Percayalah cakap cikgu. Okay, biasanya soalan hot tu budak akan jawapan dia betul tapi salah sikit-sikit grammar dia lah dan sebagainya. Alright. Okay, saya bagi contoh eh. Okay, next. Question dia. Ini soalan dia. Alright, kalau saya jadi korang, saya akan baca soalan dulu. If I were you, I will read the question first. Uh, where do you think Puan Hani, 10 years old, might be sent to where? Documents Puan Hani need to register. Okay, that is my first step. I read the questions. Then I read the dialogue. Okay, say about your dialogue there. Uh, hello, good morning. Good morning. My name is Hani. This is my son Jamil. I'm from Maimon, the school club. How can I help you? Uh, the school club. Oh, Rani Skola. We have just shifted from Perak. My husband has been promoted as a manager here. We have just shifted from Perak. Baru pindah daripada Perak. I would like to register my son. Uh, he is 10 years old. Budak tu 10 tahun. Automatically, tengok je perkara tadi, saya tahu dah jam 4. Sebab tadi ada soalan tanya. Okay, school club. Oh, kat office ni. Did you bring along his personal file transfer form from the previous school? Yes, I have all the documents. Okay, tadi ada soalan tanya document. Let me check. I see you have the transfer form, birth certificate and progress report. Please ask your son to follow me to his class. Thank you. You see, eh, the moment you read the question first, automatically your brain can start identifying the points. Otak dah mula mencari isi-isi penting. So, senang cerita jawab soalan dengan tepat. Ah, soalan yang aras rendah ni kena score. Based on the dialogue, where do you think Puan Hani and her son are? Where? Dia tanya kat mana? Obviously, jawapan dia, office. Alright? Okay, next 10 years old. Jamil might be sent to 2, 3, 4. Year 2, year 3, 4. 12, darjah 6, 11, darjah 5, darjah 4 lah. Settle. So, 2 markah dan 4% kita score kat sini. List two documents Puan Hani needs to register. Dah ada kat situ. Tiga dia bagi. So, we just have to choose two. Transfer form, birth certificate. Please write down only two answers. Don't... Alah, orang kata apa eh? Don't be too cheeky. Don't be too... What you call it? Uh, pandai is fine but memandai-mandai is a problem. Okay? They ask for two documents. Make sure you write down documents. Documents eh, kena faham soalan documents because uh, when the question is being asked many years ago, bila soalan ini keluar pada tahun-tahun sebelumnya, ramai budak tulis personal file. File is not document, file is a file. So, budak tak baca soalan dengan betul. Okay, next soalan aras tinggi. Okay, What, uh, do you think Puan Hani's application is successful? Adakah anda rasa application dia berjaya? Which sentence in the dialogue tells you this? Ah, uh, ni senang je. Yes. And the answer is, please ask your son to follow me to his class. Selesai. Just copy the sentence. Mestilah berjaya. Kalau tak berjaya, takkan disuruh masuk kelas. And last one, soalan macam ni, kadang budak selalu confused dan takut. Sometimes students, they are afraid to answer this type of question. But do not fret. The, the way to answer the question is very simple. But remember, soalan macam ni, soalan E, is totally hot question, you know. So, it is not in the, what you call that, in the passage. You have to think the answer for yourself relate to your life kaitkan dengan diri anda 
Kenapa Puan Hani pilih sekolah itu? The same reason why your parents chose the school that you are going now. Sama macam sebab kenapa mak ayah korang hantar korang ke sekolah tempat korang bersekolah sekarang. For example, if you go to SKTPP, you live in TPP, what is the logic there? Logic dia dekat dengan rumah. Okay, if your father works in Kota Damansara, you live in TPP but you go to school in Kota Damansara, what is the logic there? Dekat dengan tempat kerja ayah. Whatever we do in life, the logic is still there. Logic tu ada. Okay, so kenapa Puan Hani pilih sekolah ni? Logic dia adalah dekat dengan rumah dia atau dekat dengan tempat kerja suami dia. So you just have to transform the idea to English. How? First, buang soalan ni. Uh, the question buang. Ambil balik ayat soalan. You take back the statement of the questions. Puan Hani chose the school because the school is likely to be near to their new house or office. Uh, saya ambil balik ayat soalan, kemudian tambah because, because the question is asking why. Alright, so itulah sedikit tips dan teknik tentang kertas pemahaman section B. So before kita buat discussion, saya buka ruang chat untuk tanya soalan. Okay, ada soalan, saya bagi seminit dua. Nak minum air, minum. Keluarkan lembaran kerja sekarang, kita nak buat sama-sama. Alright, kalau tak ada soalan, I would like to conclude. Uh, what if we give two reasons? Uh, tengok soalan balik. If they want reasons, tak apa, you bagi dua. Tapi kalau dia kata give a reason bagi dua, salah. Reach to apa? Read, identify the keywords of the question, choose and then check. Okay? Alright. Saya ulang balik eh, benda yang kita dah belajar hari ni. So, untuk menjawab soalan question 21, saya type dekat ruang chat. So, everyone please refrain yourself from typing. Untuk soalan 21, langkah pertama, read the dialogue. Langkah kedua, identify the order of the speaker. Susunan, identify the susunan. Ha, senang, bahasa pasal cikgu bagi. S and then, S nak buat apa? Study the picture, dapatkan clue dan jawapan... KISS, keep it short and simple tapi dalam bentuk ayat. Itu yang saya bagi tadi, question 21. And then for comprehension, question 22 to question 25. Saya dah pesan, langkah yang pertama, read the question. RQ, cikgu tulis. And then RP, passage, baca petikan. And then bila baca soalan, make sure you identify what the question wants. Kenal pasti apa soalan nak. Macam tadi ada siapa tanya, kalau bagi dua reason, satu reason, ah itu semua ada dalam soalan. Kemudian C, pilih jawapan yang betul je. Jangan merepek pilih jawapan yang salah kan. Lepas tu CH, maksudnya H. H berarti check. Check your answer. Ingat eh kalau jawapan betul, spelling berterabur, noktah terlupa litik. So jangan komplain dengan pemeriksa kertas. Cikgu tolonglah, no way. Cikgu kurang baik-baik belaka. Tapi pemeriksa kertas, no. They are very strict. So let me remind you that, okay, examiners of the paper, they do not know you, they have no connection uh, whatsoever with you and whatnot, so they are not being, what I call it, uh, they won't be, nice. they'll be very strict, they'll follow the checklist. Orang ni, ramai, 28 orang, so I'll select a few to answer the question. Okay, tarik nafas panjang-panjang, we are about to do our Module. Siapa yang dah buat, bagus. Siapa yang belum buat, we are doing it together right now. So, kalau ada jawapan yang berbeza, if your answers are different from what we have discussed and you are not sure whether your answers are right or wrong, just type in the chat room. Okay? So, mana soalannya? Comprehension. Okay. Alright. Uh, insan yang pertama, cikgu nak pilih untuk berbincang. Adam. Silakan Adam. Adam, are you there? Yes. Okay, thank you Adam. Everyone can hear you now. Okay, Adam, question 21. Okay, can you read the dialogue dulu? This is, this, there is a power failure. Okay, what do you understand with the statement there is a power failure? Apa yang dimaksudkan dengan there is a power failure? Bekalan elektrik ni terputus. Bekalan elektrik terputus. Okay, from your opinion, based on your opinion, who is the first speaker? Siapa yang cakap dulu? Mak dia ke budak tu? Mak dia. 
Mak dia cakap dulu, there is a power failure. So, what do you think the reply of the boy? I will make a report to TMB. Okay, sebentar. Thank you Adam for the answer. Adam jawapan dia, dia kata I will make a report to N, uh, I will make report to TNB. But the logic is not uh, what you call it, the logic is not that. Dalam jawapan awak, tiada logik. Takkan budak berumur 10 tahun, 11 tahun will make report to TNB. The mother should have done the report. Okay, saya buka ke, ah, betul, that's a child. So, it's very uh, it's very awkward for a child to call TNB. So, Uh, jawapan orang lain, saya pilih uh, Siapa ni? Aina Syafiqah. Silakan Aina B ke? Uh, question 21A A tak jawab lagi Aisyah Nampaknya Aisyah hilang di dalam kita punya siaran. Saya pilih orang lain. Saya pilih siapa ni? Taswim. Okey. Taswim. Taswim. Ya, saya. Ah, siap. Taswim ke siapa ni? Ah, ya, saya. Saya tu siapa? Saya Taswim, saya Taswim. <laughs> Okey, 21A, silakan. 21A. There's any torch light in this in this house? Apa dia? There's apa? There's any torch light. Oh, is there any torch light in the house? Okay. Uh, tanya. Kurang. Everyone please look at the chat room. Semua orang sila lihat ruang chat sekarang. Thank you Taswim. Uh, lihat ruang chat. Ifat has done it well. Mother, why is it so hot? Terima kasih Ifat. Jawapan awak saya ambil sebagai jawapan contoh eh. Pertama, logik dia kita kena fikir. Memang nampak macam mak dia cakap dulu, it seems like the mother is saying it first. But to me, if you remember what I mentioned just now, kalau anda ingat apa yang saya cakap tadi, left and right, the position eh. So the boy will be speaking first and the mother will be replying, mak dia yang akan reply. So jawapan yang sesuai macam Muhammad Ifat cakap tadi, mother, why is it so hot? Lepas tu baru mak dia jawab, there is a power failure. Mak, kenapa panas? Kenapa Ifat tu saya kata jawapan dia bagus? Because Ifat pay attention to the details. The mother is actually using the newspaper to keep her, uh, to keep herself cool and what not. Uh, bagus. Arif Wakilin, mom, why this house? Why this house is very hot? Mine, mom, why are the fans not working? Arif Syakil, betul. Jawapan-jawapan uh, begitu yang saya terima. Okay? Semua orang ambil jawapan contoh. Saya ambil why the fan is off. Uh, tak boleh. Why the fan? Fan is off, memang kau off. Okay? Hang yang off sendiri, on je lah balik. Tapi ni dah on tapi tak bergerak. Okay? So jawapan yang paling betul, saya ambil Muhammad Ifat jawapan contoh. Eh? So jawapan contoh saya tuliskan. Tanya Ifat, mother, why is it so hot? Ah, question mark. Baru dapat jawapan dua. Okay. Pastikan semua orang salin. Alright. Harif Amin, no. What happened tak boleh. Dia tergantung. What happened? Macam ni lah. Mak tengah masak dekat dapur, tiba-tiba hang buka pintu. Apa berlaku? Ah, rasanya sama ada kuali tu terbang kat muka hang dan sebagainya tu. Uh, Firial, uh, mum, why there's no light? Betul. Cuma betulkan. Uh, Frila, tengok ruang chat sekarang. Cikgu betulkan kamu punya jawapan. Sepatutnya hang kena tulis begini. Uh, apostrophe. Mum. Dekat mum tu hang kena ada koma. Okay. Alright. So everyone take the question 21. Yang belum salin jawapan, question 21A. Jawapan dia dah ada. Yang confused boleh tanya sekarang. Alright. Okay. Question 21B. Hmm, siapa nak buat? Uh, cikgu pilih Putri lah. Putri, silakan Putri. Uh, Rusia ajak lagi eh. Putri dulu. Sekejap. Uh, Putri, silakan. I'm late for my badminton tournament. Wow, bagus. Terima kasih. I'm late for my badminton tournament. 
Okay, itu jawapan cantik. Saya ambil jawapan awak. Please mute yourself. Tolong mutekan diri anda balik. I am late for my badminton tournament. I am late for my badminton okay. tournament. Okay, selesai. Alright. I am late for my soccer training. Aduh, bye. Takkan pergi soccer training bawa badminton racket. Oi, saudara. Ah. Macam mana first time saya dengar tu I'm late for my soccer training But with a racket in your hand Nampak sangat suami dia curang Ah, uh, Dua dalam satu There's no such thing as two in one Because I am late Tak boleh Why are you in a hurry? I'm late Itu perkahwinan tak bahagia tu Sebenarnya suami dia malah nak layan Alright jawapan yang betul tu I'm late for my badminton tournament I'm late for badminton class Kalau lambat pergi badminton class Hang tak kalut, don't care Lambat masuk kelas, it's still fine. My badminton training already start. Arif Wakiuddin, no, tidak diterima. Sebab apa? If if training, you are late for training, you are late for class, you won't be panicking. Kalau tengok gambar ni, mamat ni panicking. Macam saya kata tadi, step number two, pay attention to the details of the question. Pay attention to the details of the question. Uh, kenapa ramai budak tak score? Sebab apa? Tengok jawapan yang ada dekat chat room sekarang. I'm late for my badminton training. Sebab tu tadi saya kata, ramai budak tak score. Sebab apa? Budak gagal memberi, uh, melengkapkan langkah yang ketiga. Meneliti gambar dengan betul. Mamat ni panik. Look at this picture. The man is panic. Panic. Kalau lambat pergi kelas, I'm panic ke? Ha, kelas saya mungkin hang panik lah. Okay. Lambat pergi kelas biasanya, kelas badminton. Orang tak panik, orang okey je. Nanti cakap sorry je lah dengan coach. Kalau pergi praktis pun sama. Tapi kalau tournament, hang lambat, hang kalah. That's why he is panicking. Tengok dia pakai kasut pun kelang kabut. People normally, they will be sitting down to wear their shoes. But this man, he wears his shoes while standing up. So memang dia tengah kalut. So jawapan putri tadi, betul. Alright. So, yang belum salin, I'm late for my tournament. Uh, Alia Idina, cikgu betulkan jawapan awak. Jawapan kamu tu dah betul kecuali tenses dia. Uh, tengok ruang chat sekarang. Eh. Pertama, kau kena tambah I am in hurry. Uh, I am in a hurry. Okay. Lepas tu, because I am late. Bukan I was. Grammar kena betul sebab dia memang tengah lambat. Okay. Alright, sudah dibetulkan. Alia, please check the chat room. I'm in a hurry because I'm late for badminton tournament. Okay, soalan C. Uh, kita sambung. Ryan, silakan. Wan Mama Ryan, unmute yourself. Me? Mm -mm. Uh, tricky. This one is a bit tricky. Uh, who is the first speaker? The girl, the lady. What would be your answer then? No, it isn't. Yeah. Um. No, it isn't. There you Okay. Thank you, Ryan Mukris. Uh, Ryan <laughs> Mukris punya jawapan. Please mute yourself. Thank you. Okay. Your answer would be no, it is not. It isn't. All right. Tu jawapan dia. Seorang lagi, Alia Idina, please mute yourself. Unmute yourself, please. Alia, jawapan awak apa? Uh, yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. So, jawapan yang diberikan oleh Alia adalah yes, thank you. Saya tak kata betul lagi eh. Thank you, Alia. Mute yourself. Uh, okay. Uh, next, seorang lagi saya nak pilihan jawapan daripada Arif Wakiuddin. Arif, silakan Arif. Apa jawapan awak pula? Ifat, sebentar Ifat. Nanti dia mm. komen. Yes, I am. Thank yes, you. I, is this your wallet? Yes, I am. Adakah awak wallet? <laughs> ya, yeah, betul. Uh, yes, I am tu adakah awak wallet? Uh, are you a wallet? Yes, I am. I am a wallet. Give me my money now. Uh, you tak boleh jawab macam tu. Okay? <laughs> uh, that is quite funny. But thank you lah. Tulis jari dulu. Uh, jawapan yang kelakar. Alright. Uh, seorang lagi. Uh, kita tanya 
uh, Aisyah Bashira apa jawapan hang Aisyah mute 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 uh, mute dulu ya yeah. Aisyah apa dia <laughs> Kami dengar batuk je. Uh. Yes, mom, thanks for finding my wallet. Uh, to Firial. Firial jawapan, okay. Sekejap, nanti saya komen. Uh, Aisyah ada jawapan? Uh, lambatlah Aisyah. Okay. Tanya Aina lah, Aina. Uh. Betul lah, Arif. Hang, hebat lah. Tak sia-sia pakai apa tu. Bandana ke apa tu? Tu baju apa tu? Mexico ke? Melaka. Ha. Hmm. Ha, ni. ni ada budak mengunyah ni depan teleskop ni. Ha. Ha. Tengok bintang ke tengok jiran teleskop tu? Cikgu pinjam boleh tak? Ha. Dah habis PKP cikgu nak pinjam lah. Nak tengok jiran. Jiran ni bising je. Alright, okay. I'll explain eh. Pertama, dengar dulu eh. Sebelum korang, nanti jangan type apa-apa dulu. Tapi listen to my uh, listen to my explanation first. Okay, this one is confusing because you can put the lady as the first speaker and the boy as the second speaker. Kalau you nak kata budak uh, perempuan tu cakap dulu, budak tu kemudian pun boleh. Okay, tapi jawapan dia tak diterima. Yes, thank you. Yes, I am. Tak diterima. Sebab apa? Macam Arif Daniel cakap tadi, look at the boy's face. Tengok muka budak ni. Budak tu tengah gelisah. So, kalau uh, wallet tu dia punya, he must be feeling okay. Dia akan rasa okay, senyum. So, pelukis tu akan lukis muka dia senyum dan sebagainya. So, jawapan yang boleh diterima, yang pertama, saya boleh terima jawapan yang ini. No, it isn't. Ah, uh, Itu okay. No, it isn't is option one. No, it isn't is option one. Saya ulang eh. No, it isn't is option one. Uh, no, it is not mine pun boleh diterima. Macam Arik Syakil jawab. The wallet is not mine but that looks like my friends. Wow, satu sekolah hilang wallet. Dahsyat. Ah, okay, jawapan tu macam agak tak logik. Uh, kalau Arik Syakil, jawapan awak. Cun sampai the wallet is not mine. Full stop kat situ. Ha, itu dah cun. So Arik Syakir betulkan jawapan awak. Eh. That wallet is not mine. Cukup. Tapi saya tertarik dengan satu lagi jawapan tadi. Uh, Muhammad Ifat ada tulis. Have you seen my wallet? Kalau budak ni cakap dulu pun boleh. The boy can be speaking first. The lady can be replying. Uh, you pun boleh buat ayat ni. Option yang kedua. Eh. Jawapan yang kedua yang diterima. Have you seen my wallet? Okay, ini pun diterima. Lepas tu, uh, cikgu ke mak dia pun cakap, ah, inilah kau punya kot. Ataupun, jawapan yang ketiga yang diterima, I've lost my wallet. Okay, alright. So, there you go. Tiga tu jawapan diterima. Uh, saya komen satu-satu jawapan yang orang hantar. Muhammad Ifat saya bagi dua markah. Harith Ami uh, kurang tepat ambil no it isn't sebab budak tu gelisah. Uh, that wallet wasn't mine. Uh, Nazrin tukarkan wasn't kepada isn't sebab present tense. Amira Kistina no that is not my wallet. Full stop. Kena tambah full stop dapat dua markah. Hilmi uh, uh, typo banyak tu. Hilmi pilih antara tiga ni Hilmi. Terima kasih. Uh, Firial yes mom thanks for find uh, thanks for finding my wallet. Uh, kurang tepat because the boy still looks very worried. Okay. Uh, so, tukar. Uh, just choose one of the answer that we have here. Arik Syakil, that wallet is not mine but that looks like my friends. Macam saya kata tadi Arik, sampai the wallet is not mine je. Takkan satu sekolah hilang wallet. Uh, Toyol good. Okay. Uh, siapa lagi ni? Uh, Shafika, no it is not mine. Shafika, I-T-S, I, huruf kecil, T, apostrophe S. Saya ulang eh. Aina Syafika, I, T, apostrophe, S, not mine. Full stop, don't forget. Arif Daniel, no, this is not my wallet. Two marks, Azna, no, it is not mine, but it looks my sister. Aduh, sister, adik, semua hilang wallet. Dahsyat. <laughs> Salam satu masa, teruk sangat tu. No, it is not mine je. Azna, no, comma, it is not mine. 
Rosia Muhammad, I'm not sure. I'm not sure tu uh, 50-50 lah. Not not really fit the situation. Does not really fit the situation. So saya lebih prefer kalau you ambil jawapan yang tiga ni. Alright. So everyone, please jot down the notes now. Pastikan semua orang lengkapkan kertas kertas ni sekarang. Agi you guys one minute or two. Okay. Uh, Mana yang dah siap, just type okay in the chat room. Kalau ada 29 okay tu, maksudnya okay lah tu. Saya ulang, semua orang pastikan saling jawapan eh. Kalau ada confusion, if you need to ask anything, you can uh, send me a PM. Okay, personal message. Good, good, good. Keep in coming. Okay, moving on. Kita sambung. Semua orang dah reply okay nampaknya. So now let's look at question 22. Mari kita lihat soalan 22. Alright. Okay. Uh, Vanita, let me read the question first. Eh. Saya bacakan, uh, kalau lah, macam saya kata tadi, langkah pertama kalau boleh baca dulu soalan dia. Where do you think Mrs. Suren and Vanita are? Lepas tu dia ada tanya, what a pleasant surprise, Mother's Day. Two ways that you can show her mother how much you appreciate her. Which sentence did that tells you this? Why is it important to show your parents that you appreciate him? Okay, so saya nak baca dulu. Okay, saya, tapi saya tak nak baca sebab asyik saya je baca. So bosan, saya pilih orang lain. Uh, saya pilih Rosalind. <coughs> Roslyn, silakan Roslyn. With the dialogue below and ask, answer the question that, fo that follow. Hold on, who's this? Siapa ni? Ryan. Okay, Ryan. Uh, Ryan, you'll be Vanita, I'll be Mrs. Suren. Okay? Good morning, Mom. I am glad that you are awake. Her, her is your breakfast in bed. Good morning, dear. What a pleasant surprise. It, it's a su surprise from Mother's, Mother's Day. We want to show you how much we appreciate you. That's so thoughtful of you. Did you prepare it all by yourself? No, that and why not help it too. Wow, where, where are they? That why not you can come in now. Okay, I'll be Mr. Suren. Happy Mother's Day, dear. This gift is for you. It's to thank you for all that you do for us every day. I hope you like it. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Here is another gift that then thank you for being my mother. Oh, such lovely pair of earrings. My favorite perfume too. Thank you, everyone. I'm so happy. I love you all very much. Father and children, we love you. Enjoy your day. Okay, thank you. All right, uh, now. Okay, Q&A. Use the chat room. Eh? Saya akan tanya soalan. Everyone type your response. Okay. Uh, who are these people? Siapa dua ni? My first question. Just to check whether you understood the passage or not. Who are these people? Siapakah mereka? Family, family, family. Good. Alright. My next question. Uh, what are they celebrating? Okay, thank you. Mother's Day, Firal, Mother's Day, thank you. All right. Uh, question. Uh, where is Mrs. Suren right now? Mrs. Suren ni kat mana sekarang ni? Bedroom, bedroom, bedroom. Agreed, saya setuju. Okay, which word in the passage that tells you that Mrs. Suren is in the bedroom? Ayat mana yang, perkataan apa yang menunjukkan yang dia duduk dalam bilik tidur sekarang? Ayat nombor satu. Thank you, Hilmi. Bad. Amira Kistina. Very good. Bagus. Korang. Uh, soalan seterusnya saya nak tanya. Okay. Uh, okay. I will let you type 
until you feel you satisfied with the number one. Gentle reminder that the chat room is meant for chatting or discussing. I will not continue if this character, this behavior, this attitude is being done in the chat room. Please do not abuse the chat room. Who did it first? I can see, I can see the record. Eh? For your information, I can see the whole record myself. And I want the person who is responsible enough to start the chain message to be to do the right thing right now. Saya minta orang yang menaip dulu, nombor satu terlalu banyak tu, please, do the right thing right now. Thank you. Alright, please answer the question loud and clear and that's it. Because we do not want to waste any moment of our time just to entertain this kind of situation. Thank you so much. Nazrin Hafiz, your turn. Yes, sir. Answer the first question. In the bedroom. Okay, everyone please make sure you take in the bedroom. All right, mute yourself please. Okay, um, sir. All right, thank you. Next, Aisha. Next question. What a pleasant surprise. Mrs. Suren's family gave her a surprise on Mother's Day to show her that um, they appreciate her. They appreciate her. All right. Thank you. Mute yourself, please. All right. Next. List two ways that you can show your mother how much you appreciate her. List two ways. To show that your to show your mother how much you appreciate her, uh, can I have the answer from Sophia or Shafika? Thank you. Kejap, Sophia nak tanya satu soalan. Sophia and Shafika, uh, you kena ambil jawapan yang dah diberikan atau you kena ambil jawapan yang lain? Sebab in the passage, they mentioned that uh, Mrs. V Mrs. Surin, when, when she was, uh, what you call it, when the family celebrated their mo the Mother's Day, so the family actually made her breakfast and gave her presents. Itu adalah dua cara untuk menunjukkan kita menyayangi mak kita. My question to you, should we take the given examples or should we add new examples? Silakan. So we are not getting any reply from her. So I would like to forward the questions to Hilmi. Thank you, Hilmi. Hilmi, hmm. yang duduk dekat kutub utara, ada aurora kat belakang tu. Okay, Hilmi, nak ambil contoh lain ke contoh yang telah diberikan? Contoh yang telah diberikan. Kenapa pula? Okay, bye bye. Your mother, your mother. Yang Vinod buat tu, itu untuk mak dia. Dia belikan mak dia present dan juga buat breakfast. Soalan tanya, least two ways that you can show your mother pula how much you appreciate her. Okay, so kena bagi jawapan yang berbeza. Uh, so sekarang saya nak semua orang using the chat room, uh, throw me ideas. Silakan. Apa dua cara selain bagi hadiah dan juga buat breakfast untuk mak uh, to show that you appreciate her. Hmm. Respect and love her, get six A's in UPSR, okay. Diterima. 
respect and love her satu get 6a in upsr arif daniel in upsr diterima boleh guna tu untuk jawapan help her to do house chores diterima tapi itu baru satu saja wishes give her a wish get good grades in exam ryan mukris accepted if i get a in upsr diterima pray for her <laughs> okay lah diterima jugaklah um Telescope guy helping her to water the plants tu sama macam help her to do the household chores. Tell her how helpful her advice has been. Mm. Make some special event. Tell her how helpful her advice has been. Kurang lah. Boleh lah kot. Tapi saya tak berapa gemar jawapan tu. Because uh, smart, um, tell her. Tell her when every day, every time. Boleh lah diterima. Uh, make some special event. Well, accepted. Make a surprise and help her. Dua markah. Respect her. Uh, dua, macam mana you respect mak you, Adam? Uh, kembangkan lagi. Say thanks after what they do. Ucap terima kasih. Bring her to her favorite restaurant. Do not let our mother sad. Help her to do the chores. And take care of the kids. Arik, you are not The mother tau, bukan wife eh. Uh, siapa ni tadi? Arik Syakil, kepada ibu, bukan isteri sendiri. So, kalau take care of the kids, maksudnya macam kau jaga anak. Macam macam saya buat kat bini saya lah. Uh, itu how I appreciate my wife during Mother's Day. Saya jaga anak. Uh, tapi kau dah ada isteri ke? Tak ada kan? Uh, jadi tak payahlah terus macam tu. Okay, saya ambil jawapan yang terbaik tadi. Uh, saya ada jumpa jawapan yang cantik. Uh, iaitu jawapan daripada Arif Daniel satu dan juga jawapan daripada Arif Syakil. So, dua-dua jawapan saya terima. So, I'm going to write the sample answer. Eh. Saya akan tulis contoh jawapan di sini. Okay. Uh, semua orang boleh ambil jawapan ini. Uh, tolong mak bapa help her with the household chores. Uh, tolong i, uh, ibu dari segi membuat kerja-kerja rumah Yang satu lagi jawapan yang terima Get 6 A's Okay In UPSR Jawapan-jawapan uh, lain seperti uh, Wishes tu pun uh, Kalau nak guna wishes uh, Kurang tepat lah sebab appreciate kan Sebab soalan tu dia nak appreciate Appreciate tu tak semestinya during Mother's Day Uh, so you can do it every day. Takkan you nak wish your mom every single day. So saya prefer dua jawapan yang terbaik ini. Alright. Okay. So pastikan korang salin. Help her with the household chores and get six A's in UPSR. Okay. Sekarang saya open chat room untuk jawapan for D. Do you think Mrs. Student felt appreciated? Which sentence in the dialogue tells you this? Obviously the answer is yes. Jawapan dia adalah yes. But I need the sentence, so I open for discussion right now. Saya buka untuk perbincangan sekarang in the chat room. Yeah, which sentence tells you that Mrs. Suren felt appreciated? Ayat mana yang dia menunjukkan dia rasa ni? Aisyah tulis yes ya, tak payah I do. Okay, diterima sebenarnya. Don't worry. Ryan Mukris, you have done well. That's so thoughtful of you, Ryan Mukris. Dua markah. Semua orang tengok jawapan Ryan Mukris in the chat room. That is the correct answer. Bukan I love you all. Eh. I love you all menunjukkan dia menyayangi keluarga dia. But soalan minta apakah ayat yang menunjukkan dia rasa dihargai. That's so thoughtful of you. Bila orang buatkan sesuatu benda baik untuk awak and uh, you rasa uh, tersentuh. So jawapan yang paling tepat adalah jawapan from Ryan Mukris. Congratulations. Semua orang boleh tengok ruang chat. Uh, the answer is that so thoughtful of you. Saya tulis dia kat sini untuk memudahkan semua orang. Okay.
Alright. Soalan E. Why is it important to show your parents that you appreciate them? Nak jawab soalan ni mudah saja. Buang question and mulakan dengan it is. It is important to show your parents that you appreciate them because uh, bagi sebab. So I open for discussion question E right now. Silakan. We need to appreciate our mom because our parents take care of us since we were born. Arif Daniel tambah we were born since we were born. Jawapan awak diterima. So Arif Daniel jawapan awak diterima tambah we were born. Yang lain boleh type jawapan anda. Saya sedia melayan. Yang penting tanya dan dapatkan kepastian. Kadang-kadang jawapan anda betul. Cuma perlu diperbaiki saja. Your son, sometimes your answers are all okay, no problem. But the grammar, you need. Uh, we call it modification. Period. We need to appreciate our parents because they raised us from kid until now. Uh, from kid until now, buang. Because they raised us. Sebab memang raised daripada kid. Daripada kid sampai adult. Tak ada daripada adult jadi orang tua. So, itu dah redundant. So, Firial, jawapan dia, we need to appreciate our parents because they raised us. Full stop. Kat situ je. Alright. Next. Uh, we need to appreciate our mom. Dia bukan mom je. Parents sekali. We need to appreciate our parents to become a person we gratitude. No. Dia tanya, kenapa you kena, why is it important to show appreciation? Not about you punya development. Uh, change. It is Arik Shakil. It is because they have taken good care of us since we were little until we grown up. Uh, until we grown up. Okay, until we since we were since we were little. Uh, since we were little to tak payah. It is because they have taken good care of us. Full stop. Uh, Sebab memang mak ayah jaga daripada kecil sampai besar. So that is common sense. So tutup sampai situ je eh. Arik Shakil. Uh, Ryan Mukris, it is important because they have... Okay, Arik, uh, Ryan, they have gone through. They have gone through all the struggles to raise us. Uh, jawapan betul. Cuma to have, they have gone through. Tambah gone through sahaja. Uh, Tambah gone through. Harif Amin, it is important to show your parents that we appreciate them because they have made anything for us and sacrificed for us. They have made everything. Uh, they have made everything to buang. They have sacrificed for us. Tu je. Alright. Uh, Alia Irina, it is important to show your parents that you appreciate them because they Alia, they, they, they raise us. Saya betulkan your pandawa eh. Raise. R-A-I-S-E. Eh, ada iklan. <laughs> okay, anak saya betul anak saya. Uh, itu jawapan yang dah dibetulkan eh? It is important to show parents how much we appreciate them Because they have gone through all the struggle just to raise us Okay Alright So jawapan yang paling bagus Saya ambil jawapan uh, Ryan Mukris Ryan Mukris jawapan dia okay Amira Kistina We need to appreciate them because uh, Because our parents Our parents do everything for us uh, Tukar Saya betulkan ayat kamu eh Check ruang chat sekarang Sebentar eh, saya kutip tu. We need to appreciate because gantikan my tu dengan our parents Okay, uh, siapa tadi? Amira, ini jawapan yang betul awak punya uh, Aisyah, betul. We should appreciate our parents because they care so much for us. Ah, Itu betul. Tak ada masalah. Uh, lagi, lagi, lagi. Jangan takut nak hantar. Eh. Kita ambil masa discuss pun tak apa. No problem.
Uh, kalau korang semua nak jawapan contoh, I am sending you the sample of uh, one of the best answer that I feel good. Okay, this one. Uh, ini jawapan yang saya rasa bagus. It is important to show our parents how much we appreciate them because they have gone through all the struggle just to raise us. That one is from Ryan Mukris. Thank you so much, Ryan. You have done well. Good. Alright. Orang lain kalau tak ada jawapan, boleh tengok jawapan dekat ruang chat. Uh, Ryan Mukris punya jawapan eh. That is good. Aina Shafiqah, we need to appreciate our parents because we have because they take care of us and teach us the good things. Okay, two marks. Saya bagi dua markah. Alright. Ada lagi? Alright. Okay. Before we proceed, pastikan jawapan lengkap eh. Before we proceed, pastikan jawapan lengkap. Because I want you to go to your bed, to go to bed tonight with all the answers completed. Nazim, it is important to show that our appreciation, to show that our appreciation because... Okay, uh, Nazrin, cikgu betulkan jawapan di ruang chat sekarang eh. Uh, Pertama, it is important. Bukan it is importance eh. Sekejap, cikgu betulkan. It is, it is important to show our appreciation. Okay. To them because they would do anything to make us happy. Bukan to make we happy. Sekejap, cikgu betulkan. Sikit lagi. Jarin, hold on. They did not type. Okay. There you go. And uh, Nazrin, itu jawapan yang betul Nazrin. It is important to show that our appreciation, to show our appreciation to them because they will do anything to make us happy. Okay. Okay, everyone type okay if you have done this question. Alright, before we proceed to the next one. Okay, thank you Daniel, thank you Arif, thank you Ryan, thank you Adam. Alright, anything kalau yang tak tertinggal tu, you can ask me PM personal. Next. Next. Alright guys, okay. Uh, now we are moving to we are moving to question 23. Kita sambung ke soalan 23. Alright, please study the map first. Okay, I'm back. Saya dah kembali. Uh, question 1. 
Uh, Arif Daniel. Hmm. Yes. Arif Daniel, you take A B C D. Thank you. A B C D. All right. Okay. Hmm. Uh, my answer for A. The show. Oh. Uh, study the map given and answer the question that follow. Mm -hmm. A. The show factory is near the market. Answer true. Let me confirm. Shoe factory, market. Yes, confirm. True. Everyone, make sure you have the right answer. Okay. Uh, next, carry on. Melinda Mall is a residential area. Okay. My what is... Hold on. What is residential, by the way? Explain to your uh, friends. Kawasan perumahan. Thank you, everyone. Yang tak berapa pasti jawapan residential tu apa. Residential maksudnya kawasan perumahan. So, what is it? The answer? True. Hey, Melinda Mall is a residential area. Oh, false, false. Ah, we jangan sejak bila orang tinggal kat mall. Alright. Okay, next. Okay, Because Balun. The correct answer to fill in the blank. Okay. Miss Karamjit lives in Taman Melinda. If she wants to go to the market, She will go to Melinda Market. Confirm your answer is fine. Melinda Market. Very easy. Uh, when you circle, make sure 90% of the circle is in the correct answer. Covers the yes. correct answer. Okay, kalau termasuk sikit tak apa. Janji 90% uh, di jawapan yang betul. D please, thank you. Value works in Melinda Hospital. He will most probably stay in Melinda Apartments, as Correct. it is built for the staff. Thank Betul. you. Thank you, Dan. You can mute yourself. So, all the lots question have done by our friend just now. So, make sure you have all the answer. A is true. B is false. Residential, as we discussed just now, is Kawasan Perumahan. And then C, Melinda Market. And D is Melinda Apartments. Okay? All right. Next. Saya nak pilih perempuan. Uh, siapa yang saya belum pilih? Eh? Alia lah, Alia. Hmm. Alia Zulfa. Hmm. Hello. Oh, nampaknya kita tidak dapat siaran daripada Alia. Okay. Alex Tong and Dora love to play futsal. So where do she, uh, where do they would go to play futsal? Uh, Chat room now. Chat room. Chat room. Chat room. Where would they go to play futsal? Hmm. Firial, bagus. Aisha, bagus. Arif, bagus. Okay, good. Everyone should be able to guess the answer. Tanya, jawapan dia adalah Games Complex. Okay, Games Complex. Right. Hmm. Bukan game, ah, Games. Kena ada G-A-M-E-S. Games. Games Complex. Ah, Sekarang ni jawab soalan hot ni. Why? Kenapa kena main kat Game Complex? Why they have to go to Game Complex? Uh, hmm. Mana budak teleskop? Teleskop, where are you? Uh, where are you? Yes, sir. Uh, what's your answer for this one? Uh... Uh, where they have to go to game complex? Arik, main futsal lah Arik. Futsal tak main kat ladang. Uh. Tak ada jawapan pun. So we are not get. Ah, uh, teleskop. What's the answer? Ah, uh, it is because it is suitable to play futsal at the games complex. Yeah, why it is suitable? Okay. 
Kalau you sekadar menjawab The game complex is suitable to play futsal You are not answering the question Everyone please pay attention to Arif Daniel's answer The place is suitable for us to play uh, futsal Because this building have futsal facilities The keyword is facilities Kata kunci dia adalah facilities Kemudahan Sepatutnya jawapan dia begini saja It is because Ianya adalah kerana Saya ulang eh It is because the complex, complex tersebut mempunyai, has the facilities. Ha, itu je jawapan dia. Okay, selesai. It is because the complex has the facilities. Ha, simple. Tak payah melirik panjang. Complex tu ada kemudahan dia. Ha, lepas tu jangan salah faham. Futsal and uh, football games, they are two different things. Alright. Uh, next, the Rusia Muhammad, get ready. Question F. Silakan. If you are there, the welfare club members of SK Tama Melinda often visit the old folks. Why? Sebelum tu, welfare tu apa? Yeah. Uh -uh. Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillah. Tak sihat ke? Sihat. Sejuk. Ha, sejuk. Wah, bestnya rumah sejuk. Ada ikon. Ha. Okey. Dapat dah welfare tu apa? Tak. Welfare tu kebajikan. Old folks oh. tu apa? Ha, old folks tu apa old folks? Old tu tua lah. Orang tua. Orang tua. Kenapa kelak kebajikan pergi rumah orang tua? Dia nak buat apa? Because they take care. Ah, takkan kelak, kelak kebajikan take care. Ah. Kelak kebajikan apa tugas utama dia? Uh, bantu orang susah. Bantu orang susah. So, jawapan awak sepatutnya dalam bahasa Melayu, awak akan terima macam ni. Mereka ingin bantu orang tua. Ah, uh. kan? Ah, jadi macam mana nak buat ayat dalam bahasa Inggeris? They, mereka tu they. They, they want, want to have The old The folk. old folk. Folks dah, full stop Ah, itu, terima kasih Alright Okay, jawapan yang diterima Okay, not bad Amira, Kistina, I think because they want to make people happy and help them People tu gantikan dengan old folks je Ah, tu je cukup Gantikan dengan old folks Putri Alisha, charity tu betul Sepatutnya kamu tulis macam ni eh, ayat penuh dia I think because it is because they want to do charity and help the old folks Alright, so jawapan saya lah eh, ni jawapan saya eh hmm. Kalau malah nak salin panjang-panjang, you can use begini saja Okay, it is because Okay, they want to uh, To do Charity, mereka nak membuat kebajikan And help The old folks Okay, contoh Ni contoh paling mudah lah It is because they want to do charity And help the old folks Okay, kalau ada jawapan lain Nak kepastian, use the chat features now uh, Because uh, Okay Arif Daniel, Chun hmm, Chun Cuma buat ayat begini I think the welfare club members often visit the old folks to help and give contribution to them Buang because tu Sebab tu tu dah membawa maksud macam because They wanted to help the old folks Tasrim, okay uh, Nazrin, they go to old folks because they want to help the old folks Okay, no problem Nazrin boleh diterima Simple but answering the question Uh, betul dan menjawab soalan Simple dan menjawab soalan Alright So I think everyone gets it Semua orang dapat Jawapan Okay Contribution tu adalah sumbangan Saya ulang Sumbangannya Putri Alisha Sumbangan 
Ah uh, kalau biasa kat sekolah pernah dengar kan bagi sila bagi sumbangan contribution. Alright, sumbangan is contribution. Bahasa Inggeris. Okay. Actually okay juga kelas online ni. Banyak budak bertanya. Especially yang malu bertanya dalam kelas. Oh, surprisingly korang aktif dalam ruang chat. Uh, makes me wonder. Cuma maybe dalam kalau PKP ni dah habiskan. After the PKP. I will, kita akan buat kelas macam biasa. Di TPP. Cookie Mon. Tapi saya akan zoomkan sekali. So yang mana malu nak bertanya tu. Boleh guna ruang chat je. Senang. Uh, tak apa. Okay. Hmm. Tapi Zoom tu off video lah. Sebab saya tengok korang lebih suka kelas online. Sebab cikgu jauh. So rotan tu tak sampai. Arif Daniel tak boleh hantar kemarahan secara online. Boleh. Boleh Arif. Ilmu cikgu tinggi. Alright. Okay lah. Soalan 24-25. 24-25. I believe semua orang dah jalan ni. Hantar gambar rotan. Boleh. Ha, kejap. Google rotan je. Ha. Okay. Alright. Question 25. Ini senang. Saya bacakanlah. Jimat masa. During the last school holidays, uh, Ramesh went to visit his uncle and aunt. Sorry, visit his uncle and cousin in Ipoh. He took a train from Kuala Lumpur Central to Ipoh. Ramesh enjoyed the journey to Ipoh as he could look at the scenery. His uncle fetched him at the Ipoh railway station. He spent a week in Ipoh. During that time, he visited many tourist spots. His, his uncle took him to visit Kelly's Castle, which is located in Batu Gaja. Kelly's Castle was an uncompleted castle built by a Scottish planter in 19th century. It was exciting to walk in the huge building and imagine how it would have looked if it had been completed. The scenery around the castle was very beautiful too. His uncle took him and his cousin to the Lost World of Tambun. It is an exciting water theme park in Tambun. The cousins enjoyed the natural hot spring, the amusement park and the petting zoo. Ramesh also visited the Sampohtong Temple. It is located in the south of Ipoh town. The temple has great artworks and various statues of Buddha. Besides visiting the tourist sites, Ramesh also got to eat some famous Ipoh food like bean sprout chicken rice, egg tarts and many other dishes. He loved eating in Ipoh as the food was tasty and cheap too. The week in Ipoh went by quickly and Ramesh had to return to Kuala Lumpur. Uh, he promised to return again soon as he really liked it there. Ramesh loved traveling as he could see new places, taste different food and also meet new people. Alright, so done reading. Sesuai baca. Ada perkataan yang anda tak tahu ke? Use the chat room now. I don't mind. Okay. If you have anything to ask related to the text, you can ask me now. Planter tu apa? Planter tu beginilah. Uh, peladang Peladang okay. Peladang Zaman dulu peladang Mak Saleh Zaman dulu peladang Mak Saleh Seniri permandangan okay. Zaman dulu negara kita dijajah oleh British Jadi peladang toki dia semua Mak Saleh Kat Cameron Sebab tu kau tengok eh Teh-teh kat Cameron tu Sebenarnya kebanyakannya dimiliki oleh orang-orang Masih lagi ada orang tempatan lah Tapi Mak Saleh pun ada juga saham dia Alright Sampai Mahathir beli Sam Dhabi, barulah 100% milik orang Melayu, orang Malaysia. Okay. Hmm, scenery tu dah jawab dah tadi. Scenery tu pemandangan Aisyah. Scottish tu adalah orang Scotland. Uh, kalau Melayu, Malay, Scotland, Scottish. Various pelbagai. Various tu pelbagai. Alia Idina, amusement park tu maksudnya uh, taman, taman tema. Taman tema. Macam Sunway Lagoon, ha, semua itulah taman tema. Various pelbagai. Amusement park, taman tema. Ha, hambayangkan apa ni, Sunway Lagoon, taman tema lah tu. Fetch jemput eh, Nazrin Fetch tu jemput. Ha, Ari, dia bukan sekadar water park. Macam Sunway, dia ada water park, dia ada dry park, dia ada pirate park dan banyak. Aina Syafiqah, tourist tu adalah pelancong. Alright. Wow. Good. Saya suka. Selalu kalau tanya kat kelas, mediam je. Sebab takut nak tanya atau malu nak tanya. Macam team park. Ya, yeah, betul. Team park, amusement park. Yes, bandai Arik Syakil. Hmm, taman tema, amusement park, team park. Hmm. 
amuse amuse tu maksud amusement tu ataupun amuse perkataan akar dia maksudnya gembira bila you masuk taman tu you gembira ha, untuk korang lah bapak tak gembira sebab bayar tiket mahal alright kalau tak ada soalan kita buka soalan perbincangan kita nak habis dah ni question 24 to 25 uh, saya pilih siapa eh Aina Syafika dah ke Aina? Boleh lah Aina, silakan. Yeah. Okey, silakan 24A dengan 24B. Han layan. This story is about hmm. Ramesh visit to Ipoh. Okey, good. Ramesh visit to Ipoh. Alia ajak lagi cikgu jawab soalan. Ha. yang kedua, his uncle Uh, took him to visit Kalis Castle in located in Ipoh. The word located can be replaced with Located Situated Situated. Alright, done. Thank you. Alright, next. Uh, siapa tanya tadi? Aina Shafika bukan? Alia Zulfah. There are two scenery in the passage. What is the difference? Maksudnya, apa? Tak faham? Ha. Alia, tanya sekarang. Buka mic. Ayat pertama, he could look at the scenery. Melihat pemandangan. Ha. Lagi. The scenery around the castle was very beautiful. Pemandangan sekitar uh, istana sangat cantik. So sama je maksud dia pemandangan. Okay. Scenery pemandangan. Alright. Question 24. Give two words to 25. Give two words to describe food in Ipoh. Okay. Mohon. Uh, Firial try. Silakan. Nombor berapa? 25A um, Yummy and delicious Yummy, delicious, tasty sama maksud Dia nak dua perkataan berbeza So uh, kalau yummy, tasty, delicious tu dianggap satu saja. So tasty okay. diterima hmm. um. Yang dia bagi kat atas tu, mula dengan C Ah. Cheap. Cheap. Okay, thank you. Alright. Tasty and cheap. So, uh, situasi tadi, kalau hang bagi atas tasty, bawah yummy, okay, pemeriksa akan tick satu, this one kosong. Because they both carry the same meaning. Kedua-dua maksudnya sama. Uh, sebab dia nak dua perkataan yang describe dan meaning dia berbeza. Uh, did Ramesh had a good time? Did Ramesh had a good time? Uh, kita tanya balik Puteri Alisha, silakan. In my opinion, Ramesh had a good time in Ipoh because he loved traveling. Hmm. Okay, not bad actually but boleh boleh kembangkan lagi tak? He love travelling tapi kadang-kadang kalau kita suka travel pun tempat tu tak menarik. Kita tak seronok juga. Tapi apa bukti yang dia memang rasa seronok dekat Ipoh? He love travelling because he could see new places, taste different food and also meet new people. Betul tapi kurang Jelas. kurang jelas lagi tu. Apa bukti yang he had a good time in Ipoh? Okay, I give you one example eh. I've been to Vietnam but something bad happened in Vietnam. I had to stay in the hotel. Although I love travelling walaupun saya suka travel tapi saya terpaksa duduk dekat Vietnam dekat hotel tu je. Uh, so tak best pun. I didn't have a good time pun sebab terpaksa duduk hotel je. Lepas tu balik. Uh, tapi Ramesh ni, he had a good time in Ipoh. Apa bukti dia? He had a good time in Ipoh. Because he could see new places. Lagi kan? Tengok-tengok lagi. Up. Pergi mana-mana pun dapat see new places. Uh. 
dia kebat tau bila dia kebat maksudnya you kena tengok keseluruhan petikan tu tapi thank you lah putri nice try itu jawapan awak kita tanya Aisyah tadi dia tadi aku nampak Aisyah dan kipasnya uh, Aisyah silakan Aisyah hmm hmm <laughs> apa dia um, in my opinion ha uh. Ramesh had a good time in Ipoh because, because he like Ipoh's food. <laughs> Alright. Not bad, tapi kurang masih lagi tidak menepati saya punya. Boleh mute mic eh. Terima kasih. Kita tanya insan yang tak ada dalam ni. Tak ada video ni. Kita pilih siapa? Amira Kristina. Silakan. Amira Okay Yes ha, Apa jawapan awak? There are many food eh? <laughs> okay, okay, okay Tak apalah, thank you, thank you, thank you Alright, jawapan dia everyone Everyone use the chat room Semua orang tengok chat room Okay, can you look at Nazrin Hakis answers? Semua orang tengok jawapan Nazrin. Nazrin answers explain everything. Jawapan Nazrin paling betul. Okay, uh, saya hantar eh, sekarang ni. In my opinion, Ramesh had a good time in Ipoh because Ramesh visited many interesting places and eat many tasty food. Cuma itu dia kena gantikan dengan eat. Okay. Uh, ini dia kena ganti dengan eat ataupun tasted lah. So tengok ruang chat sekarang. In my opinion, Ramesh had a good time in Ipoh because Ramesh visited many interesting places. Uh, that is the best answer. Itu jawapan yang paling betul. Saya tulis juga di ruang sini eh. Uh, yes, jawapan Arif Wakiuddin pun diterima. That will be two marks as well. Okay. Yes, he had Jawapan dia begini eh, cikgu tuliskan Ramesh had a good time Okay, because He had, dia dah melawat banyak tempat Visited plenty of places Okay, and tasted good food. Uh, itu je sebab korang pergi melancong. Untuk pergi tempat yang banyak dan tasted good food. Alright, okay. Dan terakhir sekali, it is interesting to travel. Do you agree? Uh, Arif Daniel cakap, kalau Ramesh dapat jumpa dengan dia punya uncle, aunt and cousin, Uh, kena gabungkan dengan he had visited many places Sebab kalau sekadar jumpa saja uh, Sebab kalau tengok petikan tu Dia bercerita pasal uncle dia bawa pergi banyak tempat So dia memang really really had a good time So kena gabung dua-dua Alright Arif Daniel Ramesh had a good time because he had uh, Because he met his cousin, uncle and aunt And at the same time visited many places uh, Itu lebih tepat Alright Uh, yang terakhir sekali, saya, jawapan telah diberikan sebenarnya dalam tu Tapi kita kena ambil reason kita sendiri Give your reason Is this interesting to travel? Boleh je begini, tulis je I agree uh, that travel is interesting Okay Because we can meet Okay, because we can learn new cultures and gain experience, mendapat pengalaman. Ini jawapan untuk soalan yang terakhir. Alright, I agree that travel is interesting because we can learn new cultures and gain experience. Jawapan Harif Ami pun boleh diterima. Uh, jawapan Arif Daniel, yes, because I love to know the customs and culture of other countries. Uh, betul. Diterima. Dua markah. Tak ada masalah. Alia Edina, 
In my opinion, Ramesh had a good time in Nepal because he loved traveling as he could see different food and also meet new people. Bukan jawapan tu tak bagus, Edina. Tapi kita nak bukti yang dia uh, seronok di Ipoh. Sebab soalan dia seronok di Ipoh. Jawapan awak tu terlalu umum, too general. Nazrin, I agree because when we go travel, travel when we go travel ataupun when we travel, go to buang. We can learn new things, bukan a new thing, new things and we can make new friends. Tambah SS je. Buang a, buang a, tambah friends, tambah things. Okay eh, Nazrin. I agree tu apa? I agree bermaksud saya setuju. I agree, saya setuju. Saya setuju yang melancung itu menarik. I agree that travel is interesting. Okay, Aisha. Okay, I give you a minute or two to copy down this answer. I agree that travel is interesting. Ambil ayat atas tu. Ya, Syah. I agree that travel is interesting because we can learn new cultures and gain experience. Arif Syakil, I agree because uh, Arif gantikan uh, we saja. Because you tu gantikan dengan we. Because we can explore Ipoh. Tapi Arif, ingat eh, soalan untuk C, they ask opinion in general. Pandangan secara menyeluruh. I agree because we can explore interesting cultures and see her apa? Uh, cikgu betulkan lah jawapan anda. Tengok ruang chat Arif. Because we can explore interesting new cultures. Interesting tertinggal E. Size ni apa? Cuma tak tahu. Interesting cultures and places. Okay. Nah, ini baru betul. Nah, ini baru betul. Syarik, Arik Syakil. That one is much better. Okay, guys, uh, that's a bit of our discussion for section B. Tolong ingat balik eh, langkah-langkah uh, yang telah dibincangkan tadi. Dan saya dapati kelemahan anda semua adalah ketika memahami soalan sebab ada, bukan tapi okey tapi tidak menjawab soalan dengan betul. Alright, seterusnya, uh, selepas ni apa yang akan berlaku, uh, saya akan, okay, saya nak share sesuatu eh kat sini, tengok sebentar, okay, minggu lepas cikgu ada bagi ini, last week I did give you guys all this, simple explanation on quantifiers, saya ada bagi penerangan tentang quantifiers, alright, quantifiers iaitu penjodoh bilangan, Uh, tolong tengok skrin sekarang eh sebab lepas ni saya nak bagi kuis dekat semua orang uh, Kuis tu saya dah bagi dalam bentuk PDF tapi saya dah upload dalam bentuk kuisis untuk memudahkan anda cuba So, now, penjodoh bilangan yang menjadi kekeliruan pelajar adalah Okay, kadang-kadang pelajar confused bila nak guna many, bila nak guna much Saya bagi contoh paling mudah dulu eh, number four eh Many, much Okay 
much digunakan untuk benda yang tidak boleh dikira. Saya bagi contoh, do not put too much sugar in my coffee. Sugar tu tidak boleh dikira so kau kena guna much. Okay, uh, can I have, uh, I would like to buy uh, contoh many books from this. Can I have, okay, I have many books. Macam books boleh dikira so boleh guna many. Alright, okay. Harap fahamlah maksud dia eh. Kan, uh, dan perkataan lots of sebenarnya membawa maksud sama saja dengan a lot of. Okay, a lot of tu boleh digunakan untuk benda yang boleh dikira dengan benda yang tak boleh dikira. So korang kena, benda ni, list ni dia memang ambil masa untuk diingat. Okay, dia memerlukan praktis dan dia memerlukan orang kata apa, latihan yang banyak. Okay, contoh kat sini. Nampak tak? A large number, a large quantity. Quantity digunakan untuk uncountable. Kalau number digunakan untuk countable. Alright. Uh, saya akan hantar list ini dalam WhatsApp group sekarang. Okay. Saya akan hantar, saya ulang eh. Uh, gambar ini dalam WhatsApp group sekarang. Sebab lepas ni saya nak korang try satu quiz. Uh, give me a bit of time. Kejap, kejap, kejap. Mana gambar tu? Okay. Okay. So saya dah hantar dekat dalam WhatsApp group uh, screenshot tadi tu dan sekarang ni apa yang saya nak korang buat okey dengar sini eh our discussion has ended kita punya perbincangan dah tamat after this i will direct you to quizzes punya website and i want you to join the game and i want you to complete the 30 questions quantifiers saya nak you lengkapkan 30 soalan quantifiers by tonight juga eh so before you go to bed The same questions yang korang buat dalam PDF tu. Soalan yang sama yang korang buat dalam PDF. So you can always refer to the notes and you can always refer to your PDF. Alright. So hopefully you guys remember apa yang korang kena buat. In Google Classroom pun sama but tonight we do it together. Alright. Benda yang sama juga di, di, telah dimuat naik dalam Google Classroom. Alright. So Uh, I hope you enjoy the lesson tonight. Uh, minta maaf kalau ada teguran yang diberikan kepada semua pelajar because everyone need to focus and please stay safe at home. Uh, next week kita akan buat section B. Eh. Next week kita akan buat section B. Section B. Alright. Section B penulisan. Okay sebab section C kita dah buat banyak kali dan saya lihat penulisan pun ada peningkatan. Lepas tu kita nak fokus kepada section B pula. Alright. Sebelum tu please I need you guys to join this game right now. I'm going to share the screen. Eh? Okay, please everyone. Yes, right now, yeah? Get it done by tonight, guys. Thank you. I will copy the link as well in the chat room.
All right, guys. Uh, just a quick reminder to everyone. Quick announcement. You can, the game should be completed today and tonight. Buat sekarang ya. Sebab senang nak terus strike markah. Sebab minggu depan kita nak buat benda lain pula. Okay. Uh, lepas tu, uh, saya akan leave the meeting and I wish everyone all the best. Dan kita jumpa minggu hadapan. Alright. I'm going to start the game now.